There you go, get him. There he goes, running. Running. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Uh, he's caught in that tree. Oh, he got him. Get him, boy. Get him. You know what time it is. Welcome back to another episode of Get Em Greg Fishing. Today, we're fishing out of Fishing Creek Lake out of Fort Lone, South Carolina. Uh, it's about mid-January 2022. Air temperatures rolling in here at about 50 degrees and the water temperatures is about 47 degrees. Uh, we're actually fishing on ledges today. Uh, we'll do a little bit of uh, anchoring up on the ledges to see if we can catch some of these catfish. Uh, and then we'll slow troll at about 2.2 uh, .2 miles an hour, 0.3 miles an hour. Uh, today we're using shad and we're using strawberry jello chicken. Uh, we're going to see which one uh, catches the most fish today, so stay tuned and we're going to get them. This is a little map of what we did during the course of the day. Uh, we first put in at the Highway 21 boat ramp. We then came over into this area. And this area right here is where we basically uh, was anchoring up and uh, catching some of the fish. Um, then this little area right here is where we slow trolled uh, to you know, attempt to pick up some fish. Uh, we had better luck anchoring up uh, rather than slow trolling. So um, towards the end of the video you'll see where we came back up into here and anchored up again to finish out the day. Yeah. This one came off the shade. We got here. Uh, feels weird the way it's, it's like it's almost tangled into something. Here it comes. All right. I just want to spin around a little bit. All right. We've been playing in the mud. Got a lot of mud on him. Yeah, this one's off the strawberry chicken. Strawberry jello chicken. Here he comes. A little blue. He's been playing in the mud too. Ooh, barely had that one. Look at that. It's barely. Ooh. Right there, look at that. Uh, today we're using uh, Santee rig. Uh, have a little uh, barrel swivel with a clip on it that you attach here. It's about 50 pound test line, about two foot of it with a uh, fork. Have a little rattle and a seven ohm circle hook. What we're doing was we're uh, using cut shad and uh, just throwing it out back in the boat and uh, see what we can get. When anchoring up for catfish, I typically will throw an anchor both out of the front and the back of the boat. This will help keep the boat straight, especially if the wind is blowing. To do this, I first throw out the front anchor at a ratio of 5 to 1. For example, in this video, I am approximately 25 feet of water. If you apply the 5 to 1 ratio, I will, should let out 125 foot of anchor rope out of the front. I will then let out an additional 50 foot to account for assisting me in pulling the back anchor tight. I will then go to the back of the boat and throw out the back anchor and let out about 50 foot of line. Once the back anchor is out, I simply go back to the front of the boat and pull in the extra 50 foot of line. This should tighten up the front and back anchor ropes to keep your boat straight. I will then begin throwing out my rod and reels. 
I would begin by throwing out the very back lines out first and work my way around to the left and right sides of the boat. The red lines on this picture show approximately how I place my bait for the optimal catching zones represented as the green lines. Over here coming straight towards me. Strawberry chicken again. Oh, he's shaking his head. He done got tangled in this. We got him out of it. Now if he's still in it. Here he comes. Alright. Tried to bite into him or something. Never seen one like that. Huh. Many of you may be unfamiliar with what strawberry jello chicken bait is. Well, it's where you cut up pieces of chicken into cubes, place the cubes into a bag, then pour the box of strawberry jello into the bag. Mix thoroughly and let sit for about two hours. Once the jello absorbs into the chicken, it makes a great bait for catfish. Mm. Alright, got another one off the strawberry chicken again. That was a channel kit. That's what you call a easy release. Right, come off the strawberry chicken again. Ah, shh. Came off. Oh, wait. Well, I'm telling you, I have a tough time keeping them on the hook today. Tough time keeping them on the hook. All right, let's try again. All right, another one on the strawberry chicken. Let's see if we can get this one in the boat. Seems like all of them. <laughs> Just as I was going to say it, he let go of it again. <laughs> Woo, it's been one of those days. Goodness gracious. I've had 50 bites <laughs> and they just won't they won't hold on it's like they're biting the back end of it or something craziest thing well we'll try it again they liking the strawberry chicken though 
That's getting the most hits. I just wish that they would uh, hold on for a few seconds. Let me get them to the boat. Let's see if we can get this one in. Come on, strawberry chicken again. Let's see if we can get this one to the boat. Come on, baby. Don't come off. Come on. Come on, here we go. Yes. Looks like I got him hung pretty good. I think he's getting in the boat. Oh, yeah. All right. Another blue. Strawberry chicken. back out there see if we can't get another one got one on the straw on the shed he must be a little dinker because he's just been playing with it about the past 10 minutes let's see if we actually got it So our day started and ended with me catching fish off of the shad bait. However, with that said, the strawberry jello flavored chicken was the overall winner with the most bites and catches today. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the post notification to be alerted when new videos are available.